Hi friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here to do a sneak peek for Diamond Art Club. A big thank you to them for sending this over to me. Now this one is a square and it's a big one, you guys. <laughs> this sneak peek today is Persephone by Roy Trin. And this one is 27.6 inches by 41.3 inches or 70 centimeters by 105 centimeters. And Roy, if you don't know, he's actually Roy the Heart on Instagram and I absolutely adore his artwork. I am so excited that Diamond Art Club is working with him and releasing his artwork. You guys go check it out. <laughs> Um, he has some Encanto. Um, oh my gosh, I love those prints. Oh, they're just amazing. Okay. Again, this plastic wrap is giving me struggle. I only struggle when I saw on camera. <laughs> Um, okay, so this kit is going to be released on April 16th, that's Saturday tomorrow, at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That will be the general release, and um, there will be a special half hour earlier release for Diamond and Ruby members, which will be 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so, of course, your box comes like this, and you have your square that shows you that this is a square kit. Um, you'll always have a blue square if it's square, or a pink circle if it's a round. And then on your box, you have how to diamond paint, you have your kit contents, and then right here you have a barcode or a QR code that you can get 10% off if you scan that. Now I am an affiliate of Diamond Art Club and so you can actually get $10 off your first purchase if you are a first time customer. If not, there are coupons everywhere. Um, your packing slips, there's a 15% off coupon so make sure you go and check those out um, and that you always are because Diamond Art Club doesn't want you to pay full price. They put coupons everywhere. So of course you get a small sticker in here and it shows you And then we get a new one of the newer toolkits in this. Now these toolkits are not guaranteed, even in the same kit. Um, these are the new toolkits that are being phased in. But Diamond Art Club has said that this is going to be randomly phased in while they're going through some of their older toolkits. If you'd like a comparison video or to see, I do have one on my channel and I will link it below. But inside, this is what we get in our toolkits. And because this is a square, you should be getting tweezers, which... Yes, you do get, pull this out, um, you get some pink tweezers that are branded. These are very sharp, so be careful. There's a little plastic cover on here so that you don't hurt yourself. You will get a random colored pen with a soft squishy that usually matches, or if it's clear, you get a random color with it of a squishy. And then you get a cover minder and these are gonna be random and different in the kits. Now, um, isn't that pretty, that shimmery heart? If you're unaware of what a cover minder is, there is a magnet on the back, and what you can do with this is pull your plastic cover up, put this underneath the canvas and this on top, and it will hold your plastic back. So helpful. And then you do get a random washi. Look at this. Ooh, it's, I love, I love it. <laughs> this one is, has the foil on it. And these are, like I said, these are gonna be random. So now what people do with their washi tape a lot of times, there's a little bit of glue that sticks out on the edges. People will put this around the edges of their canvas to keep the icky out of that sticky on the edges. And then some people actually also use this to section off their canvas. Then you get your wax in this nice heart container that's going to keep it so it doesn't dry out. And you are going to get a skinny four and seven placer in your kit. So nice. <laughs> and then look at this tray, so cute. You get a clear sparkly tray. And then this little piece right here is gonna be a stopper that you put in that when you shake your trays like this, um, they're not gonna come out, which is so nice. I, I love the shimmery sparkly. And of course you get baggies in a bag that's all nicely. Um, contained. Okay, <laughs> so now we're done with the toolkit. Let's get into this kit. I am so excited to see this one. Now, um, I believe this is the first piece that they're releasing of Roy. 
Roy the Heart. I just, I followed them on Instagram for a long time. And so I'm like, I'm so excited. Um, he yeah, has so many good stuff. And this one is so neat. So much fan, um, fan art, fantasy. And of course, Persephone is a Greek goddess. We've got our nice long bag <laughs> that it comes in. And the canvas is going to be soft and um, you have got these scalloped edges and it's poked so nice you've got do what makes you sparkle and oh this is going to be so neat to look at her now if you're unfamiliar with persephone she has a lot of um mythology surrounding her there's different stories oh my gosh you guys i love it <laughs> I hope they just release so many, so many of his pieces. Like I am, I'm such a fan, but, um, oh, it's just beautiful. But traditionally Persephone, um, you know, she spends half her time in the underworld and half the time in the, I guess, the up world. <laughs> Um, anyway, the overworld, the, the, yeah, anyway, so she's, um, and the, the tradition surrounding this was like with the seasons because, um, when she was in the, when she was up with her mother Demeter, that everything bloomed and it was lovely and nice. And that's why you get spring and summer. But then when she had to go down and live with, um, Hades in the underworld, that's when everything like died. And so, um, and that's why you get winter. And so you can see she's like, she's. She's drawn typically with fruits and with vegetation, but then also with death. That's very symbolic of her, of her. And um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is this is such a fun painting. So I'm going to um, roll this backwards because you can do that if you're looking at this is a pore glue canvas, and if you see any wrinkles in here, that is just the plastic cover. I'm gonna roll it backwards so it sits flat. Try to get you at a better angle, and I'm gonna give you a full view of this canvas. get really a better angle because she this one is really so so long you've got your two legends on either side of the canvas um which is always nice and helpful and then right down here on the canvas you have the picture as well as it tells you the name of the artist so that you know this is licensed that they get credit and then over here you have your warranty that's for missing diamonds for any issues with stickiness um, now I have to tell you that if you do seal this painting, that does avoid the warranty. So just be aware of that, but you really don't need to seal these paintings. The glue um, holds well. I've never had an issue. In fact, we'll look at it. Do you see how sticky that is? Oh, you didn't even see, but very sticky. Um, so again, down here, and I apologize if you can hear my ice maker. <laughs> Going there inside the kit, you do get a sticker. Um, this, this whole thing is a sticker, but you get your start and end date, a large picture. Look at how gorgeous that is. And then you have, um, 54 colors in this kit. And these are individual stickers, which is so nice and helpful for kitting up. Now it looks like there are four ABs in this kit. Anything under the number 150 is going to be an AB in, D in DACs or Diamond Art Club's color code. So you can know that you um, those numbers are going to be ABs. Now if you're wondering what an AB is, it has just a special coating on it that makes it a little bit more shimmery, shiny. We'll look at that. Um, and then this is your booklet that you get from a message from the owner and then there is of course a QR code that takes you to a video that's produced by them that shows you how to diamond paint. This is a QR code to the VIP Facebook group. I encourage you to go join that one. It's a fun group and you get to see lots of finished paintings and and you know messages and, and hints and tips. 
Um, and then of course there's another thank you um, coupon. Now we are gonna go over these drills one by one. If you want to skip this part, feel free. We will be looking at the ABs individually um, after I go through the drills and where they go on this painting. So I'm gonna get into the drills now. We have got Persephone right here on the drill bag. So if you like to keep your canvases separate from your drills, you can definitely do that and you'll know where which drills go to which canvas. Of course, Diamond Art Club, to mention this in the videos, has started producing their own drills and you guys, they're beautiful. I love them so much. <laughs> um, seriously, I, I am just so in love with them. Um, we'll look at them a little bit better, but let's go through these drills. So we have two bags of 3809 and can you just see those flat bottoms? and how beautiful those drills are. Now, one way to tell is that they are all gonna have a diamond on top. If you can see on the top of these drills, they all have a diamond, which means that they're all 13 faceted. In the older drills, they had mixes of um, squares and diamonds, and so it's pretty. Um, they've got 37.99, we've got 3.18, and we've got one, two, three, Three bags of 318. We've got 414. And we've got one, three bags in total of 414. We have got three bags of 814. We have got 779, 3834, four bags of 3834, 3810. 754 and 353. So we have got 317 here and we have got four bags of that. And then we've got two bags of 415. We've got 3835, two bags of that. We have got two bags of 310. Their 310 drills are really the best, I feel like. Um, 762, two bags of that. 598, 712, 3778, 3727, 336, 775, 742, and 740. Seven thirty nine, three forty seven, thirty eight thirty, three fifty six, three thirty three, one thirty four, and this is the first AB that we're coming to, and this is just my favorite green AB. Look at that gorgeous coating on top of there that gives it an extra shimmer and shine. We've got one seventeen, our next AB, and this is more of like a tan beige. And it's pretty with that shimmer. You've got 452, 352, 939, 351, 718, 938, 355, 3771, 817, 434, 435, 436, and 3371. We've got a small <laughs> little strand here of 3799, 3810, and 3861, which I think are additions to colors that we already have seen. And then we have got one, two, three, four, five bags of 154. We've got three bags of 3808. Bags of 498. I love this one. 3860. Then we have got our next AB, the third one. This is 140. This blue will be really pretty. We've got 316. 
two bags of 823, two bags of 141, this very pretty white AB. And then we have got 433 and 948. Okay, I've got the ABs out, but first before I get into these, I just want to ask you guys, for those that went through the drills, did I do that better? I've got feedback that people would like me to see <laughs> see me go through the drills a little bit slower. So if it was too slow, let me know, or if you liked it how it was, so <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm moving in the right direction. So um, our drills that we have, we have four ABs again. The very first AB is this light beige color. And this one is a, is a tan beige. You're gonna see it kind of sprinkled in areas like this down in the bottom. Um, there's a few, I thought I saw some over here, but I'm not sure. But um, you're just gonna get patches of that, that one, number one in the background really. And there's not a ton of them, so it's not all over. It's mostly just down here in the bottom. There's some right there on her cloak. Like telling you guys, this this canvas is giant. <laughs> it's almost as tall as me. Um, this is almost as as long as the princess banners. It's 105 centimeters, and they're 125. So yeah, and kind of. Um, so let's move on to number two though, and that is the green color. And this one is going to be in any of these green areas. So there's not any green otherwise in the kit. So anywhere you see green, it's going to be in the kit. And you can see that it's some vines, but it's also kind of the skulls. Now, one of the things I think that Roy does with his artwork is it's, it has very saturated elements in it. Like the colors are very vibrant. So where you see that these are skulls and you would typically see like darker, he's brought in some bright colors in there. Um, and you can see that there's some twos in there. Now it's not just in the bottom, anywhere you see the green in the bottom is gonna be that AB. But then also in the top area by her hair, these kind of like falling leaves are gonna have the green in it. There's gonna be a little bit up here. <laughs> be a little bit up here. I don't know what I just dropped, but I dropped something there. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, so the green, that's gonna be pretty. Now the blue is number three. This 140 and this one is going to be all over um you can see it in the blues like down here you can see it all throughout the the dress or the cloak um anywhere that her blue is this more like a scarf actually yeah she's got kind of like a scarf on her right there anywhere this blue is going to be you're going to see threes in there and then there's going to be some in the leaves that are falling. Um, you definitely have them up here in like the flowers. Are those, I guess they're petals, maybe not leaves. We've got some over here with the green ABs. And yeah, so basically in these blue areas that you see on the kit, you're going to have some of that blue AB. And then the last one is this white 141. And 141's gonna be, there's gonna be some in the schools. You can see that number four. Um, it's going to be in the background right here. It's kind of almost like snow. <laughs> what was what's, what's so interesting about Persephone, I think, is just how how it's it's spring into winter. And, and the symbolism and like, it's just a really neat, neat way um, of looking at the seasons. There's the, some more of that white. Um, she's gonna have some in her bracelet. And then in the wreath on her head, the flower crown. Is that her face so pretty, you guys? I just love, I love his artwork. Um, and so then you've got some more up here. And you've got more right here. So um, this is Persephone. 
by Roy Trin or Roy the Heart on Instagram. I will link him below and you guys should definitely go check him out. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think. If you have any of his favorite pieces that you like to see, I think this one is going to be just gorgeous finished. And again, I cannot wait for more of his art to come out. Um, I think they'll just be gorgeous. Um, so anyway, this one, this Persephone is going to be available again. Like I said, it's going to be April 16th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that is for the general release. The um, early Diamond and Ruby tier members do get it at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but don't worry, they always hold stock for the general release, so if it does by chance sell out in the Diamond and Ruby tier time, it will be restocked at the general release time. So you have um, another chance if you're Diamond and Ruby um, or just the general release, everybody gets another chance. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys in another video. Bye!